two years after they were introduced to Revenge and toy capsule obsessed youth Ryo Hazuki, Northern American gamers can finally get their hands on Shenmue 2. Picking up right after the end of Shenmue, we rejoin Ryo as he arrives in Hong Kong for the second leg of his quest to find his father's killer. Be careful. Not all people are nice in Hong Kong. Hong Kong isn't as friendly as Japan, though, so Ryo has problems almost immediately. Wait, give me back my bag! What bag? Take this! Shemu 2 is much larger than the first game, spanning multiple locations in China. It also features far more action, including some breakneck quick timer event chases. Jump with me! Yo! There are many things to do in China besides avenging Ryo's father, of course. Darts, pachinko, and street fighting are just a few of the money-making minigame opportunities available. There are minor graphical improvements over the Dreamcast version. The slowdown is gone, and characters are more highly detailed. Watch where you're going, you punk! That goes for you too, barging into people like that. The game is also dubbed in English now, meaning it shares many of the same goofy voice acting quirks of the first game. A winning camp. I didn't know there was one in Hong Kong. This is a Zippo. I'll have some more fun. I guess not. Yo, do you like baseball? I guess. I will get you, brother! Despite the questionable dubbing, Shenmue 2 still boasts one of the best stories told in video game history. From the subtle detective work of the early scenes to the breakneck action of the latter half, it's a visceral gaming experience that should not be missed. Extended play gives Shenmue 2 a 5 out of 5. Either you're fearless or plain stupid. Did you say something?